hello, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem on Luigi Man 64D, and well, last time we managed to well, we recruited a uh, Raven, a mercenary, the only mercenary we get in this game, and Lucius, the one, the monk that we had in Lindus' story, and we also managed to save Lindus' grandfather. Yeah, quite a full chapter, and because we had at least one green warrior so soldier survive, we were able to do this side quest. Shall we start? Let's see what happens. After speaking with the Austrian spy, Layla, Elwood realizes he must travel to Valor, at the Dread Isle. The small island, located south of Lycia, is said to be home to the Dragon's Gate. Heading for the southern coast of Kaelin, they seek passage in the port of Bad of Badon? Badon? Badon. Badon sounds better. This is Chapter 16 Extra. The Port of Baden. Baden. Baden? I just said I'd call it Baden. Listen, we need a boat to Valor. You don't want a boat to the Dread Isle? You're mad! No way, never. There's no one in this village who will sail there. Please, we're in a hurry. Can you give us passage? If you want to help us, can you take us to someone who will? Please. We must be on an urgent business, that's certain. It may be one way. What is it? Tell us, please. Pirates. Huh? Pirates? Uh-huh. They're fearless. Or as close as, as makes no difference. And they'll go anywhere for a fee. Who knows? They might decide to accept your mad offer. Pirates. Looks like we've no choice. Are you serious, Hector? Working with pirates? That's unbelievable! You're considering it, aren't you, Ellawood? There's no other way. What else can we do? You too, Ellawood? I misjudged you. It's foolishness to trust the goodwill of pirates. I'm finding another way. Why is she so angry? I heard Lindus' parents were slain by bandits. Bandits at land, pirates at sea. It's all the same to Lindus. Lawbreakers and murderers. I see. My parents died of illness, but I can appreciate her feelings. Shall we abandon the pirate plan? But... Too bad about the girl, but there's no other way. Let's meet the pirates. We can't decide until then. That's true. The inn over that inn over there is a f no is no known favorite of the local freebooters. Freebooters. The reckless and unpredictable. Best be prepared. All right, let's head over there. I mean, since I'm already here with them, let's go to the inn. Ah, uh, what do you want, whelps? Whoa. Already with the pirate two sayings. You're here to see me, aren't ya? We're your commander of the Pirate Armada, aren't you? <laughs> commander of the Pirate Armada! I like the sound of that! Are you lads that naive? Or are you just dumb, which is it? You insolent. Peace, Hector. Okay, that's it. You're not conversing here. If I've just insulted you, I apologize. How should I address you? <laughs> you don't frighten easily, do ya? Well, at least it seems you're not stupid. Captain will do, Welp. I'm Fargus, Captain of Davros. Fargus? Master Fargus? Or should I call you Captain? You're not one of my one of my mates. Call me Fargus. Now, what do you want? We want to book passage to Valor. How much will you pay? We don't know the current rates. Tell us how much you want. Ten thousand. <laughs> what? Hold on. That's a hundred thousand gold. <clears throat> One hundred thousand gold. Wait, hundred thousand gold? Well, will ye pay? We have no choice. We need a little time. We'll get the gold and return as quickly as possible. Come, Hector. Wh wh wait a minute, Alawood. Ellawood, hold on! Where do you think we're going to get 100,000 gold? I'm sure there's an arena here. We can raise gold somehow. What? You're not serious! We've no other way, do we? Well, no. Sometimes you surprise me, Ellawood. Did you say something, Hector? Nope, nothing. Let's go earn some gold. Oi! Hold your, hold your ground, boys! 
What now? You don't have the money yet. Fool! Of course you don't! I know that. The captain's got a message for you. A message? All of my mates in the village are going to attack you. What? You can beat us all and get to the ship unharmed. He'll give you passage. For free? No gold. The captain's a tad off kilter. He'd rather have a bit of fun with you than take your gold. Smooth sailing to you! Hey! Land lovers! Over here! I'm over here! Oh, for th This is a joke, isn't it? Looks serious enough. Here we go! Listen! The captain's waiting in the docks! Talk to him and you're the winner! Trust me, though. Don't make the mistake of attacking him. You anger the captain, and there's no turning back. Don't forget! Meanwhile, Lindis just comes out of the house. Couldn't find a ship after all. We have to get in that island. It's like I'll have to endure pirates. Huh? What was that? Commotion in the village? Oh, Lynn, nice timing. We need your help. You're battling the pirates. Fighting and... Look, look, we just have to reach the docks and speak to the captain. This is a test to see whether or not he'll give us passage. I don't understand, but I'm here, so let me help. Alright, this is a rather odd one. Oh, dear. I don't understand pirates. So I'm gonna leave Dorcas behind, cause, and Oswin, because I'm never taking him anywhere again. And I'm going to bring... Pris Sarah. I decided on taking Sarah for the... Use Sarah this playthrough, instead of Priscilla. I mean, I would normally take Priscilla, but... She's just too high level to ignore. I've never had Sarah at this high level before. The highest she's in, level she's ever been was three. And Priscilla is already level three here. Like when you get her. Oh, she's level four. I should probably level up. So, I think it's more beneficial to use Sarah and give her a shot. Let's see what else we got. We. Uh, I think I'll actually change up my team a bit. We have Owen, Hector. Hellwood. Oh, I gotta put stuff in trade. Transfer? Wait, I can sell stuff from here. We're going to sell that red gem. Money. We're going to store that silver sword, because he can't use that. Though I think I'll take that iron sword. Just because I need something. I have a lot of things I don't need. I think I'll sell that red gem as well. We've got Lowen here. He's all properly equipped. Um, yeah, he has enough javelins, it looks like. Awesome. We've got Rebecca. She's properly outfitted. Though she could use another iron bow just in case that one breaks. Matthew's always ready to go. Doesn't really require anything. Though he probably doesn't need an iron blade. I wonder how long it'll be it'll be for him to get that silver sword. No, I think I'll take that iron blade just in case. Uh guy. He doesn't need an iron sword. I say he doesn't even need a slim sword. Hector, he's pretty much always ready. He could use a steel axe, but I guess that's fine. Kirk, he could. I'm still wondering who to use this goddess icon. It increases luck by two. Who is the worst luck? Three, six, seven, nine, nine. Uh, looks like Urk needs some luck. And that's saying something. So I guess I'll have Urk use it on himself. Get out the goddess icon. Use it. Awesome, his luck is now five, and that'll help him out. Lindis is ready, but she will need an iron sword and slim sword just in case. Sarah, pretty much always ready. I'm gonna give her the unlock staff. No, I'm not. I don't wanna lose that. Or rather, I don't wanna waste that. And who else can I have on my team? I can only have nine people for this one. So I better make them count. Lowen's helpful, Rebecca's good. Hector. I would love to have Raven on my team, because he's a really good unit, but I don't think I have the space for him in this time. 
I'll, I guess I'll use him next time, but I'm gonna take his steel sword away from him, just for a bit. I have a feeling that... Lindis could use... Actually? Yeah, I think Lowen can use that for now. Awesome. Alright, so we've got proper things. Let's go check my rank. Okay, combat went up. Doing good. I don't really don't know what changes that. Let's check the Audrey. Yep, inside for the next battle. Ooh, oh my, things have gotten out of hand, haven't they? Concentrate. Go around. Round is best. You should speak with the locals. You might even meet some. Don't waste your time with every single house, though. And that's all she gets. Alright. Let's check the map here. This is the map. Here's the it. Where'd you come from? There's a random pirate up there. And up there. Alright. Now, the houses I can get visit for stuff is this one, this one, this one, and this one. Oh, that's a lot. And here's a house I can visit for information. I can probably visit the inn for something. And... Here's the vendor. I should visit the vendor before I leave, because I'm probably not going to find another one. Because I'll be on an island far, far away. And here's the arena. I'll go into that once I get closer to it. Now let's look at the things we're facing. We're fighting pirates. Pirates are a little different than the typical fighters than the bandits. They're a lot stronger than the bandits. They're also a lot different than fighters because they don't have as much HP, but they have higher stats elsewhere. We have a mage with L fire. L fire is a more powerful version of fire. We have a shaman with flux. That's not Riggy. A pirate with a silver axe. And this is Fargus. He's a level, he's the captain of a band of corsairs, a generous man, clearly. He's a berserker, an honorific bestowed upon the fighters with incredible fury. He has 58 HP. Berserker, in case you didn't know, is the level upgraded form of a pirate. So we don't want to mess with him, because if you look, he has a killer axe. Killer axe, a killer axe has a default critical hit rate of 30. Berserkers have an increased chance of getting a critical hit. So basically, he has an accuracy of 102, and he has half, of, and half of the time he's gonna get a critical. So we don't want to fight him. Let's see what else we got. We have Dart. This is the pirate that came over to us. One of Vargas's corsairs, foul-mouthed but kind. And let's see what else we got. More killer axes. A killer bow. This is an archer, this is a killer bow, which has a critical hit ratio of a lot more. Don't want to mess with that, and I think it's like, this guy has a hammer, not that it matters, and, okay, these two have silver axes. Don't want to mess with those, because we all know about silver weapons, and that's done with the rundown for what we're facing. So, uh, without further ado, I would like to... Formation. Formation is an interesting thing that lets you change the play, like the placement of your guys. So say, if you wanted Lindis moved up here so she can take on this pirate, sure, go ahead. I'm gonna. Unfortunately, you can't move the main lord of the of the story. It happens that way. So basically, magic users are gonna have a tough time here. I'm not even sure why I'm bringing Urk, because like. They might have a tough time because they have low everything when compared to these guys. However, these guys have low resistance. Now, remember when she said you may want to go the other way, like around. Do you not see these six pirates here with killer axe, silver axe, hammer, killer bow, and mages? You don't want to fight them head on, trust me. There is a village here so you can get stuff, but you don't want to fight them head on. Instead, you can go, the main plan for this map is to go either around the top, and then you get to go to all the places, even the vendor, and then you get to talk to Fargus, and that's fine. Or, this is the easiest way to go, you go down, take out these 
It's guys with silver axes. Just make sure you keep your distance away from these guys. You go here. You can train up at the arena if you want. And then talk to Fargus. What I intend to doing is both. That's right. I plan on doing both. Why? Because I want to make sure I visit the vendor. I want to make sure I get, get all the things here. I know there's something here that I want. And I also want to do a tutorial on the arena. I don't typically use it because I end up dying there. But let's give it a shot. Alright, so let's see what we got this time. Uh, Alright, just one last inventory check. Uh, good. I think I'll leave Urk behind, actually. And I think I will take Raven. And I would... I might actually want to take Florina. Because she has flight, which can actually help me out here. I'll leave Urk behind, which is rare for me, because I like using... I like magic users. But this time, I'm going to leave him behind so Florina can fly around. And because I'm never going to use Oswin ever again. He's a good unit, but I don't like heavily armored generals. I'm going to use Dor plan on using Dorcas. I plan on using Lucius, but he's a little... I don't think I'll use Lucius this level, because like this this time, because he's a little under-leveled. And besides, once Seraph gets promoted to, um, to Bishop, which Lucius is going to become anyway, she gets, she gets to use light magic, so it doesn't really matter. So, uh, I think I'll start. Everything's all calculated and strategized, so let's start this battle. Let's go. Let's deploy Mar Merlinus. Alright, let's start with having uh, Hector walk into this inn and see what happens. I heard about your contest with the pirate captain, Fargus. You got nerve, I'll give you that. Let me give you some advice. Don't try to overpower the pirates. Take the narrow path next to us. Follow the wall towards the sea. Pass in front of the last house and stay close to the sea wall. You should be able to get to the to get the Fargus and win your game. Why do I know all this? Well, my sweetie's a pirate. His name's Jake and he's the best. If you see him, tell him Anna's worried about him. Oh great, now I gotta now I gotta worry about him. I wonder which one's which one's Jake. Uh Let's just forget about that for now. Um, oddly enough, just as a random, just something I like to point out. That girl that we saw in the inn, her name is Anna, and she's a recurring character that happens in Fire Emblem games. Not that we know about this right at the point of this game's release, because this is the first Fire Emblem. So, so she said go up here and hope that we don't kill too many people. Or get killed. So, let's have Linda stop in, or rather Matthew stop in this house, and see what we get. Slim sword, and see what we get. This path leads to danger. The pirates are waiting for you. Do not think it would be better to find another route? You've risked much to come here. I can't let, let you leave empty-handed. Take this axe. What do you think? Nice, isn't it? However, it's cursed. It's a mighty weapon, but if one with bad luck wields it... Ooh, terrible, terrible, I tell you. Don't use it unless you have to. This is the accursed weapon that made me lose people. This is a the Devil Axe. It has high power, low, visit, low hit, and it might injure the wielder depending on luck. It has crazy algorithms to do damage, but there's a slight chance that you may hurt yourself for the same amount of damage you would deal. It, because of this stupid weapon, I have managed to get Dorcas killed from a wall. You don't want to do this. Rather, I've had, I've had, not Dorcas, Hector. I managed to get Hector killed by a wall because he's got a critical on a wall. Yeah, that's great. Let's have Linda's visit this house. Pardon me, I was speaking with an old sailor a moment moments ago. He told me you're planning to travel to Valor, is that so? Really? And that's why you're playing tag with these pirates? I see. In that case, would you mind if I joined you? My name is Canis. I'm a scholar of sorts. I've been seeking passage to Valor, but none will take me. 
My proposal probably sounds somewhat selfish now. You should know, I can help in combat. I'm some, I have some skill with a form of elder magic. Some call it dark magic. A rather biased term, if I must be blunt. But at the very least, I can take care of myself. And perhaps others. This guy! It's Canis. 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 He is a scholar, a novice student of ancient magics. Other known as the dark arts. He can use dark magic, and because he's a shaman. Apparently. Yeah, he's the only shaman you get in this game. And he comes with his own books. His own tomes. He comes with Flux, Vulnerary, Vulneraries, and a secret book which increases skill by two. Not that you need it, because his skill is nine. If anything, you'd need this skill book on... I guess I'll give it to Sarah later. I can't give it to Moanis because he's weird, so... I think it's... I'll... Now, I'd like to point out that if you come too close to this area, Dart will make them attack you. So you may want to watch out. So I'm just going to slowly walk down there. This guy doesn't have a hand axe, does he? No, it's not an axe. This guy has a hand axe. So let's just have him stand right here. Actually, does he need that book? No, he's fine. Oh, whoa! I didn't notice that. When you get him, he comes with a level B of dark magic. That's pretty cool. And he comes at level 8. Kind of odd. Alright, let's line these guys up. And let's have Florina go near here. Just ready for if something needs to happen. Alright, that guy's coming towards us. Bring it. You missed. Almost a level up. And his sword weapon level went up. And he's attacking lower. But he missed. And got him a level up. Nice going. HP and defense went up. And now that Lowen's level 10, he can be promoted if I use that Knight's Crest. But why would I do that? I mean, it's not useful at this level. Um, I think I'll have Florina try to take him out with a Slim Lance. Or... I think I'll try to take him out with a Slim Lance. Because that's good EXP. Critical! Go, Florina! And that is a level up. She hasn't had one of those in a while. HP and skill. Good old Florida never lets me down. Now let's have... Let's have Can Canis attack him. Nope. Pointless. And... Yeah, Lowen should be able to take him out. No problem. Now the odd part about splitting your team in two... It gets really difficult as time goes on. So let's have him move forward. I like the way he walks, and I it's like it just walks really cool when he walks like that. Let's have I don't wanna trigger that event, so I should probably go around actually. Because if I go over here, I'll no doubt trigger the event where Dart says, Alright, let him have it. I don't want to do that when I have half of my team, so let's go around. Yep, I know. I'm changing my battle strategy. I'm fine with this. For once, I'm fine with this. What? What an interesting diversion. Maybe we should join in. But Ella would have You don't yet know the fear of Black Fang. I'm sorry, grieving. For I will teach you what that fear. Who are these guys? Oh, okay. Damien. He's a paladin. The killing edge. Just when I need him. He's also got a cavalier with steel sword and still lands at a troubadour. You're, I didn't need to fight. I don't need to go down there, actually. I think I'm fine. Alright. Uh, oh, well. Glad I'm not going ahead and down there. Although I do need to get to that house. If I want a treasure. If I want a free gift. 
So I may have Florina fly down there later. I think, because I think that's just out of range for them to come start swinging at me. Just in case, I think I'll have someone near Fargus. Because they're not even going towards me right now. Oh, this guy lets me attack with Canis for once. This should be fun. Already he's pulling his own weight there. Not the dark not that he weighs too much of that dark tone. Though he should probably use that secret bond. I think I wanted to give that to Sarah. Got hit once. Lower leveled up, so I think I'll just heal for EXP. Oh well. Awesome. Let's see now. So I'm not gonna go try fighting him. The Damien, because that's just asking for trouble. I think I'll put her here, because no one can really reach her there anyway. They're very patient pirates. I'll give them that. I, I just hope I don't activate the... To make the pirates charge me when I step close to them. Oh, you seek a book, and her skill increased by two. I forget what skill does, but she needs it. Probably. Let's have Matthew. Let's just keep moving people forward. And hope the pirates don't start charging us. Although, what's ahead? A pirate with an iron axe. Oh well, bring it. Nope, don't want him to fight. And it's Florina's turn. Awesome. Now I don't really mind having Florina down there, because they can't reach her anyway. But I might as well heal her for one. Clear up an inventory space. And get that EXP that that Sarah needs. Oh, a heal broke. Boo hoo. Oh well. Let's just keep moving forward for now. Out of curiosity, what's his sword level? C. Let's have Limbus there with Monikati. I'm fine with that. Get the. I've been using the wolf bell way too often. So, do you remember the the magic triangle? The the nature, or rather the anima magic, which is what this is. We call it nature, but it's anima. Anima beats light magic, which beats dark magic, which beats anima magic. So basically, this this guy is supposed to be able to beat mages with no problem. So now he's going to Matthew with a big mistake. How did you hit? You had an accuracy of 25. Pirates are lucky, I gotta tell ya. I think I'll let her do some of the fighting this time. And by her, I mean Rebecca. With a iron bow. That should be able to hit. There you go. And now, I think I'll let Sarah level up. I'm kind of surprised that the that the pirates aren't attacking me yet. Because normally they love doing that. And Sarah levels up. HP, magic, and speed. Alright, let's have Guy. Let's have one move up. Okay. 
awesome. No one's doing anything? Oh, he moved. Hellfire. Oh, that hurt. Okay, Hector needs to heal. Alright, let's get Hector over to Sarah. I think a heal should do it. Awesome. Now let's go get Canis to do his thing. Yeah, this will go well. 11 damage. Did I mention druids have really good resistance? Oh! And they have the, like, a really cool dodge animation. They somehow teleport backwards and move out of the hit. Let's visit this house. Are you interested in this sword here? It's called a Lance Reaver. Hmm. It's an incredible sword that takes it again to take against lances. Still, it is a little weak against the axes. Go ahead, take it. You're going to the Dread Isle, right? If you want to avoid the pirates, go behind the shop. From there, just head straight down the alley. Good luck to you. Now we have a Lance Reaver. Which is a really good sword, because it's good against lances. It says spears, but this is a lance. Everywhere else it says lances. Now, I'm going to get rid of the iron sword for this. Oops. Yeah. Now, when he said go behind the shop, it means go around here and then talk to Fargus. Now, I'm going to tell you first, first off, do not try to range him to death. Do not try to battle him whatsoever. He will kill you. If you think he won't kill you, he will kill you. If you try to kill him, you lose, because he is your ticket to Dread Isle. Don't try to beat him. It's an achievement if you can beat him, but at the same time, it ruins the game because you can't advance because you killed him. Unfortunate, yes. But oh well. And now I'm going to have Lindis finish him off. With a critical, no less. Lindis likes showing off, doesn't she? And she levels up. Sure. HP, skill, and defense. Which is good because she needs it. And her sword weapon level increased. Now, I'm surprised that they aren't trying to attack me. Uh, I think I'll just have Florina stay right there. Oh, here comes the next guy. Oh! Critical hit for no reason. Gee, thanks, Lindis. You really hate bandits, don't you? Here comes the bowman with a killer bow. Whoa. I don't want that guy to live. I don't care if he's Jake or anything. I don't want him to attack me. Are you kidding me? I need to go there. It's gonna hurt. Ouch. That hurt. Alright, time to heal Matthew. Actually, I can probably take him out. No. Time to heal Matthew. Not taking any risks. Heal staff should heal this. That was pretty bad, though. Yep, healed him back to full. Now we gotta take that guy out. Should I have my own shaman go against him? He would win. I think I'll have Hector go against him. That would be fun. Although I could have Florina try to take him out. Florina's a backup. Because these guys don't have hand axes, right? They have... Silver Axe and Killer Axe. Yep, let's play it safe and just use these. Got him. Hit him anyway. And this is going to hit me hard. And hurt. Now before I get Florina any closer, it's important that I take him out. Hmm, what do I take him out with? Lindis likes doing this, so... There you go. Lindis got him. And another level up. That was quick. HP, strength, skill, speed, and luck. That's a really good level up. Alright, now let's get rid of this shaman. Because he's in the way of where I need to be. 
I'll need a backup plan in case I miss. Never mind. I didn't miss. That went well. And I can rescue Florida somehow. Take Florida and drop her on the wall. Okay, let's have... I think you can talk to Fargus with anyone. Like, it doesn't really matter who it is. What moon cows! The calves. I wouldn't have let him sit there if they hadn't come any closer. A banana mate's attack! Okay, that was what triggered it. Okay. So, Lindis is gonna be able to take all these with her Mani Um. Uh, so, I should be fine. Oh, why'd you have to get those people to move? Don't hit. I will hit you. Twice. Critical hit. I'm fine with this. As, just as long as Dart doesn't start moving. There you go. Ah, uh, those guys. You aren't even pirates! Okay, Dart didn't start moving. So now, we've got to... Get rid of you quickly. gonna have Florina visit here. You're being tested by pirates with passage to Dread Isle hanging in the balance? Here, use this bow. It's a rare beauty, eh? A Sakaian friend gave it to me, but I can't use it. Don't give yourself killed out there, okay? And so you give the Pegasus Knight a bow. Gee, thanks. Alright, so this guy has a killer axe. And I don't want to fight those guys at all, because... What's the range? He can fight me. Okay. Um. So, Hellawood. Can't reach him either? Great. You're helpful. My only shot was with the killer edge. Rather, killing edge. Because that's all I've got. I'm gonna heal. Hector, though, because he kind of needs it. And so... Oh, I got it. I'll have Guy go... Wait a second. I just want to test him out. Awesome. Okay, I've got this. I'm going to have Guy go over there, use a killing edge, and see if he wins. Okay, that hurt. go over here, rescue guy, have Hector finish the job, and hope he can actually finish the job. We're gonna have to use the wolf bail for this one. Come on, don't let me down, Hector. Yes! Hector don't let me, doesn't ever, Hector never lets me get me down, you see. He's reliable. Now I get to go in here. You're a brave soul to come to such a perilous place. Here, you should have this staff. You can use it to make those whose magical resistances are weaker than your own fall asleep for a while. Whether it works or not depends on the skill of the wheel alone. Oh, yes. Looks like those pirates are bearing down on you. Maybe the staff will help you get in, will help you get away. And now we have the sleep staff. I've never actually gotten this before. And those guys are gonna... I don't worry about you. Yep, that's gonna hit. So I'm gonna go talk to Fargus right now. Not attack. If you click attack, if you attack him. See that? Yeah, Lowen's gonna die. So let's talk to Fargus. Let's end this and talk to him. Unfortunately, I kind of regret that I didn't get to go to the arena and explain that. And that I didn't get to go to the vendor for a bit of shopping. But, oh well. Things happen. And more importantly, some things don't happen. So I guess I'll just end this chapter now. Just had to get someone to him, and that ended the battle. Aha! You made it, whelps! That was hard. <laughs> you give us passage now, won't you? I'm a man of my of the sea. I always keep my word. Are my old eyes lying to me? Is this beauty really with you? <laughs> my lucky day. Listen, I know how you feel. 
which I have to accept it. You've no other choice. I know that! I haven't said a word, have I? We can go to the Dread Isle now. Please, Father. Be well. Why do we talk to people? Why do they talk to people like that? Like, we just simply close our eyes, and then we can talk to people telepathically. Uh, anyway. So that happened. We managed to get the pirates to not kill us. I know I didn't fight Damien, but I really don't want to fight Damien right now. I don't want to fight anyone else. I just wanted to get Canis on my team, get all the stuff, and go to the island. So now that that's done, uh, this is Let's Play Fire Emblem. I hope you have had a good time watching this. And, see you next time. Have a good day.